Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I have a Ford Transit here that's come down from Lincolnshire for a DPF issue. It's been to a garage who has tried to do a force regen. It didn't work. And then they said, okay, the DPF is not getting up the temperature. That's what the customers told me. Uh, so they decided to change the thermostat on the engine and a few other bits and pieces. And they still c couldn't get it to do a force regen because it was doing a force regen, but the soot content or the pressure wasn't coming down. So we'll get inside and have a look. Okay, I'm gonna use the Launch UK Eurotab 3. We'll do a scan. Now I'm just hoping that we're gonna get the full diagnostics on this. It doesn't really matter, I can check it manually anyway, everything, but I know it's just comes directly from a garage there, and there doesn't seem to be a light on at the minute because they've obviously reset everything. So whether or not we've got faults on the system now is another story. Let's see. Okay, we've got one. Similar tree glow plug. So they've obviously reset the DPF faults. The glow plug on this is not going to affect the DPF immediately. Um, these use the vaporizer system and it's got an EGR system, yes. The vaporizer system within the DPF, uh, it uses that to heat up the DPF, so the glow plugs don't really affect it. And the glow plugs don't affect the regeneration process either, so it doesn't affect, uh, it doesn't in inhibit the regeneration process. Power steering, it's asking me all of these silly questions. I'm going to have a look at some live data all over the place. So we've got 61. 68% exhaust differential pressure is not reading anything. Right, well there we go. We haven't got any reading from the DPF sensor. Unless they've disconnected it, let's go under and have a look. Either the sensor's not working or it's been disconnected while they're working on it. Okay, so this is a 2.2 front wheel drive version. I thought it was going to be a rear wheel drive. It's a bigger van so we can see the pipes are connected here, they've not cracked, sorry, pipes are not cracked and they're not disconnected. Just having a look under the van. That hole's not supposed to be there. Um, okay, so the DPF itself Pressure hoses look okay. I've got an aftermarket DPF though. Looks like, yep. Yeah. Definitely an aftermarket DPF. Or is it this bolt on bolt on the hair looks different to what I've usually seen. But it has got a Fomico stamp on it right there. So maybe it is a genuine one. So we've got five volts on each of the wires here. And we've also got a good art. This is at the plug to the sensor here. So I think we've got a dozzy sensor. Okay, so I've removed the old sensor. Why don't we just get a new one fitted on? Okay, so I've programmed in the sensor. We've got that working. We've got 20 millibars of pressure. I've reset the DPF down to zero just for the minute. Um, and I've tested the vaporizer. So I tested the vaporizer with the MIDI back here. The, the vaporizer is working. We've also got a like a hollow sound to the engine. I'm not sure if it's got a, an air leak somewhere. Uh, we're going to try and narrow that down. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the smoke tester from Launch UK. This is the Smoke 2 into the inlet pipe here just to check if we have any air leaks anywhere. Sounds like we have a uh, like that rumbly noise where you got an air leak either from it does sound like air coming back through the inlet a little bit we'll release that so we can't find an air leak okay so i've removed the dpf sensor again and we've connected up our cleaning holes there to that it's launch uk dpf cleaning gun and the launch uk fluid 
and I inject it into the second hole there which goes down to the DPF that's connected to the compressor at 130 psi okay now we've got the cleaning fluid into the vehicle we'll get back in a lot of stuff about this just doesn't make sense this van uh, turn the ignition on doesn't make sense obviously the pressure that we had here um the soot loading was at sort of 45 percent and now we've got a an idle that we might need to uh, calibrate that sensor and uh let's go back and calibrate the sensor in special functions pressure sensor learn values Okay. Okay, even though the sensor is calibrated in, we still got a 5.8 reading, which is sometimes these sensors take a little bit of time to um, adjust in. Right, so we'll hold the revs now up at 3000 RPM. So it seems to me like whatever the other guys have done at the other garage, they have they have done something. But I don't know what. We've got a skid control light come up now. So we had just over 200 pressure, we'll wait for that to go down, we want to see that down sort of around about 50 millibars. Put on a graph if we can, a little bit more interesting to look at. of acceleration to try and get it cleared out. Just hold the revs again. 3000. There we go. So now we're down to 65. that we were looking for. It's coming down even a little bit below that, down to 40. Let's, let's idle now, see where we're at. 11.6. We're at 22 before. even out around about there now. Idle again. It's 10.8 but we do have a little bit of discrepancy there and it's still in that sensor which it sits at 5.8 if we turn the engine off. Okay we'll uh, swap the sensors around and we'll recheck them again. Yeah, so I think that's why the lights come on as well. I haven't connected back up the uh, air inlet pipe. Let's get that connected up after the smoke test. We've probably got a code in here for the air airflow. Yeah, there we go. That's why I've left the um, air pipe off because of the smoke test. So if we clear that now, obviously the next thing he's going to need to do is do the glow plugs. But the DPF side now should all be working right. We've tested the vaporizer it's working we've tested the vaporizer pump by activating it here in the special functions of this which is vaporizer prime activates the fuel pump we can hear that ticking the fuel the vaporizer isn't blocked dpf has now got a good pressure the sensor is working i just don't know the full story of what was going on with the last garage and what they've done they seem to have done something because the uh maybe it's just they've reset the dpf values which is 
reset it to zero and then on his journey down here it's risen back up to I think it was was it 48 or 58 percent but we've got the DPF pressure down and we've got a DPF pressure reading so I think we're at the end of all we can do here so that's it yeah we're all finished on that and uh, see you in the next video